Hello everyone, it's Amy. And I just wanted to show you this earring rack that I picked up at my local um, store and they were getting rid of it. I bought it for $1.50. And it's just one of those racks that has all these little rails on it. And on those rails they hang earrings. You know, the little cards like this that have that and they just hang on there like that. So, and I was just wondering if you could guess what I'm going to make out of this, or what I've, I have made out of this. So I got this because it's on a Lazy Susan, and I just can't resist a Lazy Susan. So I got it home, trying to decide what I was going to do with it, and you know, you really can't do much with this little, you know, little teeny tiny ledge here, not even as big as my finger. And, um, but I finally figured out what I was going to do. So, here's what I did. I put little shelves on there. All the way up and down. Now, can you guess what I did with it? See, and look, it turned so pretty. Let's go up here. Ha ha. I made it into a stamp holder for my woodblock stamps. It's for the small ones, but it holds a lot of stamps. I was really surprised how many it held. So, and around and around and around it goes. I just thought it was, I, I can't resist a Lazy Susan. That is one of the things that I have always, I see them, I buy them. So, anyways, I just thought I would show you what I made out of my Lazy Susan earring holder. So, it went from that to this. Thank you all for watching. I hope that you have an outstanding day. Bye-bye. Okay, so I thought I would just really quickly show you how I finished it off. I finished it off with this fabric tape from the Dollar Tree. My daughter got me this black one, and she also got me this pink one, and then I had the purple and the blue, and I just put that on the edges of the foam core board just to make it look nicer, and then also I put a, a half circle of a double-sided glue dot on the back of these just to kind of hold them in place. They sat there really nicely, but I didn't want them sliding off. So that just makes them kind of sturdy, so they're not going to, if you bump them, they're not going to pop off of there or anything. So that's just how I finished it off. And then this is what it looks like with some stamps on it. And I just thought it turned out really nicely. So I just need to pull out the rest of my little stamps and put them up there and then put it away. Thanks for watching. Have an outstanding day. Bye-bye.